friends welcome to today's video so last video and i opened the like and rock v battle deck since then i haven't got that many pokemon cards except that rcs v star but that's for a different time anyways yo 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 bears has recently um what's it called released a new set after two years of the same animal set anyways they've added those and it's bear brilliant beast there are 60 cards in the main line and about 20 of them have um already been released and i opened one so the first card that i've got of the bear brilliant beast set is iguanodon It's like that. Wait, let me flip the camera to the actual writing. So, they can walk on two legs or four, which is actually really cool. And it's and there's teams, so yeah. So that's ancient oddities. Now that is something different. And basically, you have to match it up to different ones. So, this is my guesses. If you want, you can do it in the comments. C matches with one, B matches with two, and A matches with three. Okay, so yeah, uh, Iguanodon. Also, I ate the yo-yo bears already. What's that? Goodbye. Next. Okay, here we are. The next one we have is damn that actually looks ugh. that looks ugh. so 26 out of six pulled a hammerhead salamander the heads grew in a bonkers boomerang shape let's see the back it's a matching one just like great white just like great white shark in in last year's series now which one does it match up to I think it matches up to four. I don't know about you. No, not four, not four. That would be the wrong one. I've thought about it, and I'm thinking either six or maybe, yeah, six, I think. No, but it's facing the other way. I don't know, searching in the comments. If I scan it, I tried to scan Iguanodon, and it said I already had that card. Oopsie, I, I forgot which way the camera went for a second. Sorry about that. Okay, next. Oh, okay. Uh, most people would know this dinosaur. Maybe some people knew Iguanodon, the first ever discovered dinosaur. And barely anyone knew that hammerhead cylinders. I, I know a lot about animals myself, and I don't know those. But most people would know these. Especially dino lovers. Not even dino lovers, normal people. It's a triceratops! Yeah, you thought it was a T Rex. Yeah, T Rex would have been better, but. This one is the one. So, a triceratops. Um, its teeth can. A toothpastic triceratops had up to. Eight hundred about that. My camera just fell. Okay, yeah, that's. Oh, I forgot this. This team is, um, peculiar prehistoric, and that's flan eating dinos. I guess they're all pitted e um, against each other. This is the back. Mm. So we have to go up to here because plants. Triceratops do not eat meat, eggs, or bones. You're not thinking of egg eating snake. And you're not thinking about T-Rex. Okay, anyways. Let's see. I'm thinking A matches up to that one. I don't think this is the one to leave in the comments because it's quite easy. So, By the way, in, in, in Iguanodon and Hall Hammerhead Salamander. I'm sorry, I'm just flipping my camera so much. Um, um, you, can, you can pause the video at that time. If you haven't figured that out already. Wow, it's already been five minutes, I think. Okay, next is 
Gigantopithecus. And if you've watched, um, what's it called? The, uh, the adaptation of Disney's Jungle Book. I mean, there's been Jungle Book 2. I'm talking about this live action one. Is it Gigantopithecus? And you might think that's a made up animal, but actually it's a prehistoric animal. I thought it was a made up animal. And then I saw this and then I was like, it isn't a made up animal. Okay, finally, Hamm- somebody's got a buddy. Um, Hammerhead Salamander and Gigantopithecus are both part of Peculiar Prehistoric. Okay, get out of it. Anyways, um, Gigantopithecus is well, an ab- absolutely massive primate, the biggest to ever exist. Yeah. And he thought somebody after eating McDonald's was big. Okay, let's see around how big it was compared to one of these animals. So, 10 feet. It was as, it was 10 feet big. 10 feet is a lot. So, which one is it as tall as? I wonder. Is it the elephant, the giraffe, or the moose? I don't know. I think it's elephant. Type the letter in the comments. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just I just keep um, flipping my camera. Okay. Anyways. <sighs> okay, I opened it. I opened it. I opened it. Okay. I'm telling you, one of these animals has another body, and it's not um peculiar prehistoric. It is the original, the f- Guanodon. That means it's ancient oddities. And it is Gigantoraptors. They were excellent pa- parents. Guarding their eggs for three months. Think I know this one. You have to find five yellow eggs hiding in all of this. Because... She lost them in the... I thought you, they were excellent mothers. Okay, don't do this in the comments because it will be hard to find. I got one. I got two. I got three around there. I got four. Wait, sorry. And I got five. I got five. Good. And that's all five, actually. Nowadays, five seems like a small number, especially in these new sets because... Well, they're new, and you've only actually uh, discovered a 12th. And each set in this one is five cards long, just like in Greatest Games. But in last one, it was only three long, so yeah. Now, set, and all the stuff that happened there. Okay, last set. I finished nearly all of them, having only six cards left. I didn't have jellyfish. I didn't have fly a fly from the main set. I didn't have um, snowshoe hair from winter wildlife. I finished go away and the monster and the monster thingy magic. Then I have three cards. Then I didn't have any of the go away series two, which is osprey, rhinoceros, rhinoceros beetle, and also red squirrel so yeah by the way talking about squirrels to sign off i go on animal fact before i sign off i go on animal fact i said that twice sorry um did you know that gray squirrels which you've probably seen a lot if if you live in the uk in parks they don't actually come from the uk they're an invasive species and an invasive species is when an animal comes from another country in this case the gray squirrels came from america into the uk and they spread like wildfire hunting out um making the red squirrels number which were very common at the time decrease boom, 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 boom. and on that note goodbye and see you in the next video